Okay. Question 36. In the diagram, O is the center of the circle. So you have O here, at the center of the circle. And AC equals BC. So AC, the length is equal to BC. You can tell by the two dashed lines here that they are equal. That's what they mean. Now, angle AOB, angle AOB, so AOB is 140 degrees. Angle OBC equal, so they want OBC. Okay, this angle, they want to know what is this angle here. OBC. Hmm. Let's see. You think about it and see what possibly could be that angle. Now, you know that when you have 140 degrees from O to A is a radius of that circle. OB is also a radius of that circle. This is 140 degrees. So this is an isosceles triangle. AOB is an isosceles triangle. So this angle here is equal to this angle here. See if we can find that angle. Angles. Call this X and call this X. 140 plus X plus X equals you should know that is 180 right so 140 plus 2x would give you 180 now 2x x plus x is 2x if you subtract 140 from both sides you'd have 180 minus 140 so 2x is equal to 40 degrees when you divide by 2 x is equal to 40 over 2 which is 20 degrees so this is 20 and this is 20 now let's see how the 20 degrees might be able to help you right now if you have the card a b and the 140 in the center of a circle is lying on a b then the angle that also lie on that card in the same segment that means not in this segment but in all of this will be half of 140 what is half of 140? 70 degrees alright now if this is 70 let me take out this big triangle here you have 70 up here all of this angle this is C this is A this is B all of this angle right here all of this would be this so if we call this Y and this Y and you see it's isosceles because these two sides are equal. You know that the 70 plus the y plus the y which is plus 2y is equal to 180. So 2y is 180 minus 70 which is 110. So the angle y would be what? Angle y would be? Well, you can see that if you have 2y is equal to 110, you divide by 2 to get y, you divide by 2. So this is 55 degrees. So all of this is 55 degrees and you take off 20 from it. What is 55 minus 20? It will be 35. That is suggesting that question 36 answer is B. Let's see. Question 36, B, right. 36 is B. 
right? Now, this appears to be one of the longer questions. Don't worry if you would take more than one minute and 30 seconds on this because you have one minute and 30 seconds average to answer each question. As long as you answer the shorter question more quickly, you have more time for the longer questions, right? All right, now, you could possibly also see if you could get an idea what the other ridiculously wrong answers would be. So if you eliminate one or two wrong answers, you have a better chance of getting getting the right answer. Right? So if this was 20, right here was 20, and you consider this angle, right? This is a wide angle. You can see that here, once you reach, once you have 20 here, and it's not the angle you're looking for, you can tell that this 20 is really not the angle you're looking for, right? Because in here is 20, and this is not what they asked you for. It's probably a little more than 20, right? Now, all of this here is this. This big triangle, ACB, is this. This was 70. This is a small angle. These are larger angles. If you use this and calculate or estimate what this angle is, your calculation had showed, what was it again? 55. This angle was 55. This angle was 20. You could see that it's not 55 and it must be smaller than 70. It would have to be smaller than 70. You, can't, you cannot have 70, 70, 70. That would be 200 and what? 200 and 10. So it would not be 70 and it would not be 20. It's either 35 or 55. But this 55, you got it already. Right? So it would come down to 35. But any way you take it, this is, the, is one of the questions that require a bit more work than most of the other questions, right? Let's look at uh, question 37. Where is 37? All right. During a sale, a discount of 15% was given off the mark price of a chair. If the mark price I'm getting some errors here. All right, my computer kind of misbehaving itself. So let me just see what I can do about this and move on. Let me unplug something and then plug it in. Make sure everything works all right. Once again. All right, it seems to be working again. So here. During a sale, a discount of 15% was given off the mark price of a chair. If the mark price was $115, then the sale price was... Alright, now, the mark price was $115, and you took 15% off. First of all, if you took 15% off, not on, then the new price cannot be higher than 115 so you can get rid of the 132 here and the 130 it has to be it says during a sale a discount was given off the mark price if the mark price was 115 then the sale price was the sale price since you took off it's not supposed to be higher than 115 so c and d are ridiculous they are higher than 115 it is either a or b now 
the containing between A and B. Suppose you wanted to do a quick calculation and say, suppose you take off 10%, then 115 man, no, see. 10% uh, would be $11.50, but suppose you take off a bit less than 10%. You would see 5 minus 1 is 4, 1 minus 1, 0. You would have $104. If you take off more than 10%, then you'd have significantly less than 104. It seems so far that it's going to be A, but let's do the calculation straight forward. Straight up, let's do the calculation. How much comes off? 150, ah, uh, not 115. 15%, 15 percent of 115, that's the amount that comes off, right? So, if you say 5 into 15, 3, 5 into 10, 2, 1, 0, 5 into 24, 5 into 11 goes 2 times 1, 1, 5 into 15, 3, you'd have 3 by 23 over 4. 3 by 23 is what? 3, 3 is 9, 3, 2, 6, 69 over 4. It's kind of close to 70 over 4, but let's work with it. 4 into 4, 1, 4 into 6 goes 1 times 1, 2, 4 into 29 for $17 come off. Now, it would drop below $100. Right, so it was correct that the 100 was a bit high and it might very well have dropped below 100. So 37 is A. So 37, question 37A, all right? So you saw that you could quickly eliminate C and D and go with either A or B, All right? So we found out that the answer is actually A. But anyway, let's look at question 38. And remember, if you're still not too clear on any of these um, solutions, you should state it in our message board and I will respond. Alright? Now, A and B are two sets and A is a subset of B. A and B are two sets. A is a subset of B. So you have A here and you have B here. A is a subset of B. If number in A is 6, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 things are in A. Number in B in 15 is 15. No, those 6 are already in B. So what we have is 6 already, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Good. The number in A union B is, uh, alright, so we have 1. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 20, 40, 15. It is, seems that the answer is C for question 38. So question 38, C, right. You see. Now, if you add 15 and 6, you get 21. So some persons, if they're not careful, We'll put D as the answer. Alright? Some persons might subtract and say 15 minus 6 is 9. And get B as a wrong answer. But of course it's 15. It helps if you quickly sketch a Venn diagram representing what you're doing when it comes to the set's question. Anyway, let's break for a while and continue next time with question 39.